Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. So what was that whole sequence about that we just started the video off with? I don't know. Basically what I was trying to do is I was trying to um, somehow correlate the uh, similarity between what you put in your own body and how that impacts your health and wellness and what we feed our fish and how it impacts their health and wellness. So for those of you that don't know, I am into fitness. I'm a power builder. Um, I do have a, another YouTube channel. I'll put a link up here, which is about uh, health and wellness and fitness and things like that. Um, but anyway, so I obviously keep a lot of fish. I have a lot of mouths to feed. So I'm always thinking about how I feed my fish, what I'm feeding them, how often I'm feeding them, and what the food that I'm giving them, what it's doing to them. And before we go any further, a lot of you in a couple of recent videos have mentioned uh, what sponsored means. You know, if you're getting something for free, you know, it is a sponsored video. And that's not always the case. If you get something for free and just someone says, hey, you know, here's some stuff, and you can do whatever you want about it, then that is not a sponsored video. However, if someone says, hey, we're going to give you this product and we want you to make a review about it or we expect you to you know, do X, Y, Z about it and um, there is some type of agreement there, then that would be a sponsored video. So with that being said, this is a sponsored video. So anyway, now that we got that out of the way, I do wanna talk a little bit about fish food. So I have a lot of fish tanks. I've got 29 tanks. I've got all types of fish from goldfish to African cichlids, mud skippers, uh, West African fish, South American fish, uh, all kinds of stuff, planted tanks, hardscape tanks, et cetera, et cetera. Lots of different tanks that I keep, lots of different types of fish that I keep, brackish water, fresh water, et cetera and I'm always going through a lot of fish food. Now, when I am using fish food, I like to use a food that's a good quality, I like to use a food that's readily available to me, and um, I want to use a fish food that my fish will eat. Now, I've made other reviews on this channel in the past about various fish foods from a lot of different companies. We did, uh, we did uh, Ocean Nutrition, we had Sarah, we had Cobalt Foods, we did Hikari Foods, and I might be forgetting some other foods, but uh, anyway, I've tried a lot of foods, I've used a lot of foods, a lot of those are very good quality. Um, but what I wanted is I wanted to work with a company that had fish food that pretty much covered all of my fish from the littlest, tiniest tetra that I have to my large Oscar cichlids to my mud skippers and everything in between. Now that's where Extreme comes into play. So Extreme is a very high quality fish food. It's actually uh, created by some folks out in Florida that were the first people that brought African cichlids. Well, they mainstreamed African cichlids uh, many decades ago into the United States and they have a fish farm down there and, it, and they developed this food to feed their fish and so on and so forth. They eventually created this fish food brand to sell out to the public. So recently I had an opportunity to try the food out for free and uh, give it a kind of a test and I've been feeding it in my fish room and upstairs in my display tanks for about three weeks now. One of the things that I'm really excited about is the flake food. So there are a couple of flake foods that I have been using. One of those is a krill flake. The other one is a spirulina flake. These are really quality flake that uh, is very, um, it has like a very, thicker kind of texture, it's very it's very dense. Um, it's dry, but it kind of, you can almost feel like it has some moisture content to it. It's a very good quality flake. It does hold up very well, even if it's been sitting in the water for a few minutes, um, but that doesn't happen very often because the fish pretty much hit that flake and eat it up you know, pretty quickly. But uh, anyway, what I wanted to do is I wanted to work with a fish food company that could allow me to use those foods throughout the fish room and throughout my display tanks upstairs without having to like, you know, separate and only use the fish food for this kind of fish and that kind of fish. So very excited to share with you guys that I am now on Team Extreme. So if you do want to know what foods I will be using moving forward, I will be using the uh, Extreme Aquatic Foods. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna use any other foods. I still will use other foods from time to time, uh, depending on the type of fish that I'm feeding and what I'm feeding and why. So for example, uh, I like to use frozen foods at times. Extreme Aquatics doesn't have frozen foods available to me. So I would go out to the store and buy my frozen brine shrimp and my frozen bloodworms, et cetera. Um, sometimes I feed insects to my, some of my uh, fish, like my mud skippers will eat mealworms. My uh, Oscar cichlids will eat crickets and grasshoppers and mealworms and stuff like that. I'll use the freeze dried shrimp. So there are other applications for me using other foods. And that doesn't even include live foods like snails and worms and things like that. 
However, when it comes to dry foods, I'm going to be pretty much exclusively using the Extreme Aquatic Foods. Now, what I do like about it, that it is a good quality, very good ingredients. My fish eat it. For the last three weeks, I've noticed them, you know, good color, good activity. They've spawned for me. A few of them have spawned. So they are behaving, you know, positively and they've reacted well to the foods. In addition, what I do like is I can just take like this one container of the, extra, uh, the Extreme Curl Flake and I can pretty much just walk around and go from tank to tank to tank to tank to tank and just keep reaching my hand in here and taking a pinch and going all over the place. So I do like that a large variety of my fish will use that. And then of course there's lots of different pellets and things like that. So um, starting in January, they are going to uh, ship me out a large uh, supply of food for me to take care of all of my fish. And I actually already got the shipping notification so that should arrive sometime in early January and then I'll be continuing to use Extreme Foods. Now, a lot of you may think, well, yeah, Zenzo, you're just doing it because, you know, they're giving it to you for free or whatever. That's not the case. For me, it really is I want a good food that's of good quality that is making my life easier when it comes to feeding all my fish. I could have worked with a lot of other companies that have given that you know have offered food before or I could have worked out deals with other companies for free fish food and if you think about it in the big picture it's not that much money right so I might go through I don't know 40 to 50 dollars worth of fish food a month right around there give or take maybe a little bit more if I'm going to go to the store and buy my own blood worms etc but for the most part I'm not spending that much money on food especially dry food so I'm not going to just sell out and just use any old food because it's free just to save myself 40 or 50 bucks that's not going to happen so i am very excited because i do really believe in this product i've been trying it out for several weeks i've uh, even had some samples a while ago and tested those out so i really look forward to it i hope you guys uh you know enjoy the uh, future videos that do showcase this food if you do want to know where to get your own i'll put a link down below so that you can do your own shopping there and check it out okay now let's read some comments uh i want to ask you guys do you like this section where i read some of the comments from the previous video or previous videos uh i don't know let me know down below in the comments if you like the comments focus on tank instead of face we know you are the hunk so I gotta say, and I've been dealing with this for probably over a year now, where people will comment about the fact that I talk too much and that I don't show enough footage of the, of the fish or the videos. And I try to have a balance of both. The fact of the matter is, is that some people want to hear me talk. That's why they watch this channel. That's why they sub this channel. That's why they watch my videos. While other people might be just a casual passerby -er and they don't really care what I have to say. Just want to look at footage of fish. So I really do try to balance it, but um, I feel like I can't convey the message without talking. So um, I am going to talk from time to time. In fact, my next video, I probably will talk a lot. This video, I know I talked a whole lot. So you probably don't like this video either, bit by bit. Next comment is from Mike Blanco talking about the sponge filters again. I recently added 15 of these filters from Aquarium Co-op in various tanks and I love them. No need to squeeze the sponges to get them to sink and they do what they're supposed to do. Yes, that is something that I did not talk about in the video um, is the fact that you don't need to squeeze the sponges to get them to sink. Oftentimes when you get a new sponge filter, you put it in the tank, it won't sink all the way. It'll kind of float up. You have to squeeze it, get all the air bubbles out of it watch it sink back down and then it might rise again in a couple of days and it can be frustrating. These ones don't float at all. They sink right to the bottom um, and I think that has a lot to do with the uh, porosity or the coarseness of the sponge and the fact that uh, air doesn't get trapped in there the same way as other sponges might get air trapped. And the next comment is from the Loach Guy. We're gonna talk about this as well. In fact, if you're watching this video and you made it to this point, you know that this video that you're watching is a sponsored video. The Loach Guy wrote at five bucks a pop, I'd say they were paying you $200 to try out and promote their product. Still cheaper than my go-to brand from Gemco though, good luck. Um, so, like I said earlier, it's, uh, I'm not getting paid if people want to send me product. I mean, oftentimes I will get sent a product and they'll just say, here, you can have it. If you wanna make a video about it, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. And um, I've been very clear about the fact that if I do make a video, it would be you know, unbiased and I will say this doesn't work or I don't like it or um, it's great. In fact, there was a product that was sent to me all the way from the UK and I talked about it on a live stream where I tried it out. It was a water siphon. 
and I didn't love it. I wrote the company and said, hey, you sent me this product, I don't like it. Here's why I don't like it. They told me that they're making some changes to it, they're gonna fix it, etc., etc. And I said, okay, well, I'm not really gonna make a dedicated video to it. I might mention it on a video or Instagram or something like that. So um, even though I got the thing for free and they sent it to me all the way from England, um, it wasn't a sponsored video. So anyway, I understand the sensitivity, but uh, it is what it is. So anyway, that is it for the comments. If you like these comments, comment down below. If you want your comment read out, then write something funny down there. Make fun of me, I don't care. I'll probably read it if it's good. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share this video, like this video, subscribe to this channel, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.